Let me show you my hometown, Riga. Hey, that's my mom and doggo. His name is Ronya, by the way. In between my travels, I made a quick stop over in my hometown, so I decided to show you around. Riga, how it looks like? If we talk about old town, which will be in this video, it's a UNESCO heritage place, as most of the buildings have status of cultural monuments, Baroque style, Roman, Gothic, you will see many. Welcome back to yet another episode. Now I'm in Latvia, my hometown, my very lovely hometown, when I spent most of my life actually. I couldn't miss a chance to show you a glance of Riga. Without further ado, let's get to it. We're gonna start with the main street of Old Town, Kaltu Street. Every single Latvian knows this place, which is Lima Watches. That's the place where you're actually gonna meet them. You will for sure get a message, I meet you by Lima Watches. That's the place. I have so many memories from this particular place and just from this area. The main and probably the widest street in the old town of Riga. One bar, another bar and another bar. Autumn and winter are pretty quiet normally, but in the summer months all the empty spaces are taken by bars, restaurants and so on. People from all over Europe love to come to Riga and Tallinn, especially Riga, because of architecture at first, piece of history, and also Riga, back in the days, used to be a very important piece in Western European countries, because it's a shore, it's a port city, which used to connect import and export ships in between Western Europe and like overall Europe and some Scandinavian countries like Finland and so on. This place has a history. Now we are coming to one of the narrow streets, but it's still it's still not so narrow as it used to be. There is another reason why I came to Old Town today, because yesterday I did a little upgrade. I bought a new mic, so do you see some difference from, for example, last vlog, which will be up here somewhere? And this one. Is it different? Leave your comment down below and tell me. And uh, we just arrived to Dome Square. On a Sunday morning, Riga looks unbeatable, calm, quiet, if you get lucky, sunny. And even if it's cold outside, surroundings just make it a little warmer. I truly love it, and wherever I will travel, Old Town of Riga will always have a special place in my heart. You feel it's like, it's so quiet. Like, you can walk around, take yourself like a morning coffee, just enjoy birds flying around the town and uh, little like sun flares coming through the pavement just those little things That was the main point for export and import 6, 7, 8 centuries ago River Daugava. Riga is named Riga because of a little tiny river inside the old town. Not, not actually in the old town, but close to the old town. River named Ridzene. And from that name, Riga itself came up as a city. Not sure if I will get in the troubles, but I will try to do it very quickly. Which also popped in my mind that how beautiful my hometown is. Like, today I'm walking with you as a tourist as well and I'm exploring some stuff, I'm seeing something new. I'm seeing Old Town from the different angle as a tourist and it is beautiful, it is so, so beautiful. I am very proud that this place is my hometown because it has so much to offer. When you live in a place, you don't realize how beautiful it is because you are stuck in routine. Anyways, this place is called Ezitis Ningua. The place 
where we used to hang out a lot uh, and get drunk a lot. <laughs> but we're gonna move there. So now we approached the most impressive building in the whole town, I would say in the whole Riga. This building is behind me. I'm not gonna tell you what's that. So I want you to put a comment down below right now. Guess, what's this building? Museum or art or exhibition center? What's that? And I will tell you in the end of the video. So you can obviously take a bus and hop in and enjoy the sightseeing around the town, which will cost you 25 euro. But I would honestly suggest you just to walk around and enjoy by yourself. You don't need to take a bus. St. Peter's Church is dating back to 13th century as an iconic Gothic landmark with a towering spire offering stunning city views. Definitely a must visit spot in Old Town, by the way, and the church is reaching 123 meters. That's the statue of the Bremen's musicians' animals. You can read it down here. Another little iconic thing in our town. If you touch the nose of each of the animal, then you will have a lot of luck, success, money and so on. All you have to do is touch the nose here, here, there and that one. But <laughs> I'm a little bit too short for that. Overall, Old Town of Riga is a big mix in between architectural styles and a good implementation of new modern buildings close to UNESCO covered ones, mix in between museums and bars, which won't leave you neutral in any case. If you're heading towards Monument of Freedom, you definitely need to stop by Vermont's Park, where on a lovely sunny day you can sit by the river or on the grass, enjoy a coffee and a little talk with your friend, have a walk or just pass by. Uh, we actually spent some evenings and days on top of the hill, drinking beer, preparing for the parties, so uh, that was the purpose of this hill for us. <laughs> There is a couple of options for the tourists though, like a city cruise by the river, renting of wooden boats or canoes or paddle boats. The love bridge became a sign of the park as well. Since someone locked their padlock, many more couples started doing the same. In the end, leaving bridge locked with thousands of padlocks and number keeps growing as this became a tradition in our city. Those little things in Riga, in Old Town, just makes this place so special. Yeah, it's still in my heart. <music> Latvia became independent on 18th of November 1918. And that was the day when they put a stone on the Freedom Square. Honestly, there is so much more to see in this town. So if you will come, at least give it a few days to explore old town, to explore rural areas, to explore some hoods, to explore museums, churches, etc. etc. I'm about to finish this episode. I hope you liked it. See you guys.